Now, Lake of the Ozarks news update. Stories, events, activities, and entertainment information of interest in and around the lake area. I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. And welcome to a special end of the year edition of Lake News Update. We'll be looking back to our top 10 favorite stories that made waves at the Lake of the Ozarks in 2013. Coming in at number 10, rumblings about black bears living at the Lake of the Ozarks led the folks over at LakeExpo.com to see if the rumors were really true. And it turns out they are. The Missouri Department of Conservation says bears have called Missouri home for a long time but their numbers seem to be on the rise with more sightings recorded in recent years. The black bear is an omnivore and doesn't really pose a threat to people, but the conservation department does say if you think you have a bar for a neighbor, the best policy is to lock up your garbage and leave them alone and don't let the little dogs out either. For those who always wonder if there are any weird creatures in the lake, number nine is for you. Local marine biologist Pat Bello says freshwater jellyfish have been coving out with us all along and we probably never knew it. Now the good thing is freshwater jellyfish are not too much like their saltwater cousins. They can sting, but there's no conclusive evidence that humans can be hurt by them. And you will probably never notice them unless you're looking since freshwater jellyfish don't ever get much larger than a quarter. Number eight is Lake Race. The action-packed offshore super series event did not disappoint in its first year back at the Lake of the Ozarks. The first ever sanctioned pontoon race brought a new kind of speed to the water and two hometown teams took first place in their classes. Lake Race 2014 is already scheduled for June 7th through the 9th and the event is growing during the off season with an announcement that organizers have teamed up with Smokin' the Sound from Biloxi Mississippi for the beginnings of an invitational series. And at number seven is Beavers at the Dam. The restaurant and bar at the zero mile marker was the host of Lake Race this year, but recently made a splash by announcing the purchase of a boat that is known more for partying than racing. The Captain Larry Don. The Larry Don has been the lake's party boat for decades and Beavers ownership plans to rejuvenate it as part of a huge expansion project on the water and land. Beavers also purchased Casino Pier next door and plans are being formed to grow Beavers at the Dam into a family friendly entertainment complex. Well, a major announcement at this year's real estate symposium got the whole lake buzzing. At number six is Town Harbor, the entertainment district that developers hope will bring the Lake of the Ozarks to the next level as a tourist and visitor destination. The district would take up an entire cove near Jeffreys Road with a boardwalk connecting shops, restaurants, and a large hotel and entertainment venue. Developer Kent Nixon says the project would be dependent on tax increment financing, which will likely be determined in the next few months. The west side of the lake might have once been the quiet side, but Sunrise Beach and Lori brought the quiet side into the new spotlight this year with two huge events. At number five, the west side played host to a new shootout party at the park, putting some of the fastest boats in the world on display at the Lori Fairgrounds. Local businesses felt the love and shootout director Ron Dugan says the party at the park will return to Lori for another year. And a story that can't be ignored, even if you plug your ears, the Hurricane Deck Bridge comes in at number four this year. The new bridge cost $32 million to build, and it opened to traffic on September 7th with lots of promotion, pomp, and circumstance. The old bridge had served the lake since 1936, and when the demolition began this month, well, let's just say an exploding bridge automatically makes this year's top 10 list. At number three, the lake's very own Paul's Supermarkets was the focus of a U.S. House subcommittee hearing in October when Stephen Herman took the floor at our nation's capital. Herman is the grandson of Paul Herman, who started Paul's in 1968. Stephen spoke of the challenges for small businesses posed by Obamacare. His testimony was given on behalf of the National Grocers Association, but he talked mostly about his family history at Paul's and the tough choices the supermarket would have to make as it complied with the new law. Coming in at number two is the end of beach closures in Missouri. On July 12th, Governor Jay Nixon signed House Bill 28. That changes policy at the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. Beaches are no longer closed if an isolated water test shows elevated bacteria levels. Instead, the DNR will post a sign saying swimming is not recommended at the location. The closure of beaches at the Lake of the Ozarks had frustrated businesses and vacationers for years, but this law put an end to that and allows people to get back to having fun on and in the water. 
Whether you are a boating fan or not, our number one story of the year is nothing short of amazing. At the 2013 shootout, Bill Tomlinson ro roared past 25 years of speed records on the lake when he hit 224 miles per hour in his boat, My Way. The previous top speed record was 209 miles per hour, set in 2006 by Dave Callahan and John Kosker. Tomlinson had to miss the 2012 shootout just after his boat crashed in Canada weeks before the event. But this year, he came back with something to prove and gave thousands of fans a 25th anniversary shootout that they would all remember. And that's it, our 10 favorite stories of the year. You know, it's amazing so many things can happen in our little lake community, and it makes us wonder what's going to happen in 2014. Until then, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all of us at Lake TV and LakeExpo.com.